Hi, I'm Isaiah. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Bears vs. Babies. The goal of the game is to build adorable, magnificent, glorious bears and other monsters to eat the horrible, horrible babies. The player who eats the most babies wins. First, let's learn how to build monsters. Monsters are made up of all kinds of different body parts. To start building any monster, you must start with a head card. From there, you can make them stronger by adding more body parts. Suppose you have this head and this body. You could make a Pomeranian wearing incredible underpants. Or you could make a handsome salmon in business attire wearing spooky cat feet. Just make sure the stitches line up. If the stitches don't line up, you cannot connect those cards. There are three types of monsters you can build. Land, Sea, and Sky. The type of monster you build is determined by the kind of head you give it. Monsters also have a strength. To find out how strong any monster is, just add up all the numbers on the cards that made up that monster. For example, your Pomeranian wearing incredible underpants is made up of a head card worth 2 points and a body card also worth 2 points. So the total strength of this monster is 4 points. Let's look at an example. Mr. Bunny has built one land monster worth 5 points and one sea monster worth 2 points. And he hasn't built any sky monsters, so his sky monster army is worth zero. Robo Dude has a different strategy and has only built land monsters. Mrs. Tyrannosaurus only built a single sky monster. You don't have to finish building one monster before you can start building another one. Even just a head is considered a monster and can fight in any battle. Build as many monsters as you can to strengthen your three types of armies. But why are we building these incredible monster armies? To battle the babies! Babies come in three different types to match the three different types of monsters. Land, sea, and sky. Each baby also has a strength, which is just the number on the card. As the game goes along, babies will accumulate three different face-down stacks in the middle of the table. One for land, one for sea, and one for sky babies. These stacks are called baby armies. Now that we have monster armies and baby armies, Let's look at a battle. When the babies are provoked, it starts a battle between the babies and all the players at once. So if the land babies were provoked, they would attack all the players' land monster armies all at once. First, let's figure out how strong a baby army is. Just turn over the pile of land babies in the middle of the table and add up the numbers on the cards. Next, let's figure out how strong each player's land army is. Mrs. Tyrannosaurus has no land monsters, so she doesn't fight in this battle. Mr. Bunny's land army is worth 5 points, and Robo Dude's land army is worth 7 points. There are three possible outcomes for any battle. The babies win if they have the strongest army, a player wins if one of them has the strongest army, or there's a tie. When a player ties with the babies for army strength, the player wins. Going back to our example, Robo Dude has the strongest army, so he wins and collects the babies as points. All monsters only ever fight once. So after a battle, every monster that fought is moved to the discard pile regardless of who owns them. Now that you know how to build monsters and fight against the oncoming hordes of horrible babies, let's get you playing. First, put the playmat in the middle of the table. Next, open card packet one and two and shuffle them together really well. Now, deal one bear head to each player. Bear heads are the most valuable and vulnerable cards in the game. They're valuable because they're each worth three points, when all other heads are worth only two. But they're vulnerable because they're rainbow colored. This means that all bear heads are every type of monster at once, and therefore must fight in every battle, regardless of what type of babies attack. So that means any monster you have that has a bear head must fight in every battle. Ah! Once every player has a bear head card, deal out four cards to each player so that everyone has a starting hand of five cards. You can look at your cards, but keep them secret from the other players. Split the rest of the cards into three face-down draw piles and put them on the playmat. There are three draw piles because sometimes you're not so great at shuffling. We're not judging, we just realize that three draw piles makes it easier to draw a random card every time. You're welcome. Also. If you got a baby card in your initial five cards, which is just any card with the word baby in the title, put it face down in the correct pile and draw another card from any draw pile. Repeat as many times as it takes so that you start without any baby cards in your starting hand. Now, let's talk about taking your turn. On your turn, you can do one of three things. 
Actions, provoke, or dumpster dive. Actions are really simple. An action is either drawing a card or playing a card. If you happen to draw a baby card as one of your actions, you must immediately put it face down on the playmat in the correct baby army pile. Drawing a baby card and putting it in the correct pile only counts as one action. The number of actions you get depends on the number of players. Just follow the chart on the playmat. Another thing you can do is provoke. Provoking makes the babies attack. To provoke, take none of your actions. Instead, yell, PROVOKE! and choose a baby army to provoke. Turn over the baby army that you provoke and add up the strength of the baby cards in that pile. Then, just follow the normal battle rules that we went over earlier. Provoking is a good thing to do when you think that your monster army is strong enough to beat the babies, or when you think one of the other players can't beat the babies and will just lose their monsters in the battle. You don't have to have any monsters who will fight when you provoke the babies. You can do it just to be spiteful to the other players. Your third and final option on your turn is dumpster diving. Dumpster diving allows you to take any card from the discard pile into your hand. If you dumpster dive, you don't get to take any actions. That's it. Pick a player to go first and go clockwise around the table. Keep building monsters, battling babies, and attacking other players until there are no more cards in any of the three draw piles. When someone draws a last card from the last draw pile, that player should finish their turn, and then every player, including the one who just threw the last card, gets one final turn. When all players have taken their final turn, add up the number of all the babies you've eaten. The player with the most points wins! One final thing. There are a bunch of other cards in the deck that aren't body parts or baby cards. You can play them as normal as one of your actions. Just read the text of those cards to figure out what they do. If you have any other questions about those cards or other confusing rules like what happens if two players tie or why didn't you call the baby armies baby infantries? Go read the sheet called Frequently Asked Questions that came in the box and stop trying to make this video any longer. That's it. Good luck.